In this video, we're gonna go over the top mistakes for why you aren't growing on Instagram. So if you're looking to turn your Instagram from a flop to the one on top, make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because then you won't miss a single bit of value I'm about to drop. Let's get into it. So to start this off, a little known mistake that people do is that you are not analyzing every single thing that you see on Instagram. Yes, you might be absorbing content, but what if I told you that if you actively analyze everything that you see on social media, this will increase your results in your content drastically. It's really funny because ever since I became a YouTuber, I had to apply this strategy to myself and look at all the creators in the niches and sub niches that are related to mine and see what they're doing with their content, whether it's editing or content style wise to turn viewers into subscribers. And most people, when they're looking at content of any kind, don't actually break the content down into little tiny pieces. And instead they absorb the final product of the content as a whole. And that is just a sign of genuinely good content. So when I'm looking to make original content for Instagram, I go and look at other creators and see exactly what they're doing right. What kind of posts do they have that go really viral? What kind of strategies do they implement in those posts to make sure that the post gets pushed? That's what you need to do. And this is the same approach that you need to apply to the field of marketing because this approach is what works for making viral content on social media. So if you notice a particular post doing really well on Instagram, why can't you recreate that improve that and remix it with your own style. Just think about it. So yes, every piece of good content can be broken down into many, many small pieces and that will tell you exactly why that piece of content works. The second mistake that I see a lot of people make is that there is no niche or direction for your brand or page on Instagram. The majority of people out there on Instagram are actually just trying to build a personal brand. And it's not enough to post high quality pictures of yourself or selfies of you smashing the like button on this video. What you need is to have a niche or a direction that your account is themed around. So in other words, you want to make the content that you post on your Instagram page as specific and narrow as possible. Now let's just imagine for a minute that you are a photographer. Now, unless you already possess a large social media following with a bunch of people following you, which I'd assume you don't, no offense, because you're watching this video, then what you need is you actually need to gather that base audience that can push your content higher in the Instagram algorithm. You see, when you're a large public figure or celebrity, then people just like you for you and whatever kind of content you post. But when you don't actually have a large audience that likes you for you, you might have that small minority, then you do in fact need a portion of people to push your content. So going back to the photographer example, you may post great pictures of models or boats or the outdoors of pretty much anything because you are just a great photographer and you love photography. But why aren't your posts being seen by anybody? And the answer to this is really easy. You just need to niche down and saying that photography is your niche is just not good enough. I hate to break it to you unless you have a large cult following like I mentioned before. So posting one kind of content is actually key. Think niche within a niche. Now you might say that you're great greater sub niche is photography, but what if you only post pictures of outdoors? That can be your niche within the niche. Outdoor photography within the photography niche. And once you get known for your wildlife or outdoor photography, then people will start to follow you for you. Meaning they're gonna follow you and like the content you post because they just like the work you put out no matter what. So that is how you build that small base audience. And then that base audience is able to push your content higher because they're going to like and interact with your content no matter what you post. And this base audience attracts you that wider audience because this base audience knows what kind of content you post and they know what kind of content they can expect from you, what kind of quality they can expect from you. And this is true of any social media platform, even on YouTube. So let's look at debatably the best creator in my sub niche of Instagram to ever exist. And that is Bia Heza. As you see, old Bia Heza boy started out with Instagram videos and started to pepper in other types of content along his content creation journey. 
And because Bia Hezza took the time to build up this audience in various sub niches that were related to Instagram, then that means that he can make more broad and generalized content. And it's gonna get a lot of views and get pushed out to new people within those sub niches and sub niches of sub niches, no matter what, because he's got people who are interested in that kind of content, interacting and watching his videos. The third mistake that you may be making on Instagram is that you're engaging in spammy activity. And that includes things like buying followers, buying likes, engaging in giveaways, and just leaving obnoxious comments saying, follow my Instagram. So why shouldn't you do these things? Well, the first reason is that Instagram knows that you're buying followers and likes. They have all the data on you and all the people that follow you and all those new accounts that are leaving all these fake likes for you. And not to mention, when you buy Instagram followers, it actually decreases your engagement by a lot permanently, as long as those accounts are following your page. In fact, when you have fake followers and your posts hit those fake followers feeds, are people going to be there to interact with them? Of course not, people won't be there to interact with your posts. And that's because they're either fake followers or they don't give a crap what you're posting. No offense to you. And you know what this lack of interaction signals to the Instagram algorithm? That signals to the Instagram algorithm that you have bad content because the people whose feeds that your content is showing up in are not interacting with your content. And buying followers and likes is also just a waste of money. There are no positives that come from this whatsoever. The next mistake that you might be doing is that you are participating in engagement or DM groups. Now in 2021, I have no idea why people still think this works. It's the dumbest thing ever. It worked really well back in like 2017, ended in like 2018, but it's 2021, you guys. This does not work anymore. There's a reason that creators aren't making videos videos about this method because it just doesn't work. And for those of you who don't know what a DM or engagement group is, it's when you take a piece of content and you post it to a group of people that you have in the DMs and every single person likes and comments on that video. But the problem is these aren't typically the people who are actually going to like and engage with your content. And as soon as they fall off, it actually really hurts your account. And not to mention Instagram knows what to look for and they will penalize you for engaging engaging in these sorts of activities. So you're better off just avoiding this if you get any DMs about this because you're just engaging with a bunch of clowns who have no idea how Instagram works. The next thing you're doing wrong is that you haven't yet smashed that like button on this video. I'm just kidding, but a like would really help us reach a wider audience and feed my YouTube channel to the algorithm. But the next one is a huge one, no cap. And it is a lack of patience when growing your Instagram. Building anything from the ground up takes time and it took me over seven months of diligent and hard work to get this YouTube channel to where it's at now. And I know the time of your growth is actually really tough and it can really wear on you because you see people in the same niche popping off out of nowhere all the time. And for you, that just might not be your personal journey at this very time. That person could fall off and then you explode past them through hard work and dedication and research. It's all about trial and error and testing. And like I've said a million times in the past, Instagram is all about the long game. And I know it's 2021, everyone wants the satisfaction of getting a thousand, 10,000, or even 100,000 followers right now. They don't even have the patience to watch a full YouTube video these days. Why do you think platforms like TikTok are so popular? We live in the age of now, of instant gratification, where you can order something on Amazon and get it on your doorstep that same day. And you don't even have to go to restaurants to get food anymore. You can just Uber or DoorDash it. But building a social media presence is not something that you can get shortly. It's not something that you can get in one day. And that's why it's all about the long game. And even if you do luckily manage to pop off, you'll probably just throw it anyway because you haven't learned anything from being at the bottom and from failing. So honestly, it's a blessing not to be that person that just pops off and heads to the moon because they don't really have anything to learn from right away. They don't have any mistakes to learn from. They're not gonna get any better because they're already gonna think that they're the king. And keep in mind, your moment for explosive growth will come. You just need to be dedicated, do your research and fail enough times. Basically, there are thresholds on social media on 
on every platform that you need to surpass in order to actually get that explosive growth. But as a general rule of thumb, the organic Instagram growth following number is typically between three and 5K active and engaged followers, meaning you can't actually buy these followers. Have you ever noticed that you get a ton of new visitors to your Instagram page, but it doesn't seem like any of these people who are visiting are converting into followers? And this is likely because your Instagram profile isn't optimized for what people subconsciously, aesthetically wanna see when they visit a profile of your type within your niche. The first thing you need to focus on is your bio and you need to make it clean and purposeful. Your profile picture will also need to be clean and it's highly preferable that it actually matches with your highlight cover photos. Did I just mention highlight cover photos? Yeah, I did. Cover photos are crucial to complement the kind of content that you have on your Instagram page. You might be wondering why I'd say such an outlandish thing, but I can back this up. People who are new to your Instagram page are likely investigating what you're all about. And the more aesthetically appealing your highlight cover photos are and how they match with your content, then the longer that somebody is actually going to spend on your Instagram page and the more likely that they're going to turn into a follower. And do you know what this tells Instagram? It tells the Instagram algorithm that you have interesting enough content for people to actually go through all of your content and spend more time on their platform, which means more money for Instagram because people on their platform are their commodity. So the more optimized your profile is, the longer people spend on your content and the more Instagram pushes your content on your Instagram profile, which if my calculations are correct, means more more money for Instagram and more growth for you. It's simple. And if you got some value from this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up so that way other people can also get value from this video. But that's it for this time. I'll catch you guys later. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hit record a drop, you can't ignore it.